Well, Danny was my teammate, and, um, uh, and, and unfortunately, I had an engine blow up before the end of the season. Um, um, it, um, I just lost enough points to lose the championship, but uh, anyway, Danny won it, so he was a team member, and um, winning the championship two years in a row and two constructors' championships was a great feather in our cap. Danny was actually a very good driver, but he was a sort of down-to-earth sort of chap. He, um, he um, didn't pull any punches and he was a, a, a great team member. And uh, we had a terrific team of people actually around us um, and uh, mostly Australian mechanics that came over to work in England and that sort of thing. And we had a terrific team that um, got us up in the winning, uh, winning it in 1966. I had the opportunity of driving with Jim Clark, of course, and uh, Jimmy was a very good driver. And uh, unfortunately, he got killed at uh, Hockenheim. And uh, really, I think the reason he got killed, he didn't realise that he had a puncture in the tyre, and he lost control of the car and hit a tree. And uh, that was very unfortunate. But uh, Jimmy was a, a, a really good Formula One driver. We got on very well together, and uh, I, um, I actually met at the steering wheel club just after I'd got to England uh, the f in '55, and. Uh, Sterling, of course, was on top of the top of the uh, game at the time, and uh, so I learned a lot from Sterling, and uh, was able to uh, learn a lot from him in the racing as well. Well, actually, Sterling was very hard on the car. Uh, he was, he was a, certainly a fantastic driver but he was very hard on the car, and the reliability of the car uh, really stopped him from winning the championships. Um, but he should have really won just as many championships as I did, but unfortunately the reliability of his car didn't uh, stand up. He was a really good all-round driver and uh, winning the Miller Media in uh, Italy, uh, which uh, was a fantastic drive, really, and to win that race uh, was just incredible. Well, I, I per personally think the best driver that I drove with was Sterling Moss. Uh, uh, Jimmy was probably next. And uh, but Sterling Moss was really the best driver I drove with uh, in my career. It was fantastic the comradeship we had between the drivers in those days, and we used to um, have party on after the race and all that sort of thing and be together, uh, which unfortunately doesn't happen today. But the big thing is, of course, there's money at the day and there wasn't when I was driving. Yeah. <laughs> Graham uh, used to be the uh, uh, life of the party, absolutely. And uh, many a time we'd go to a, a function uh, after the party, after the race, and um, Graham Hill virtually took it over. He finished up being the star of the night. It was fantastic the way he used to uh, be able to uh, entertain the crowd. It was terrific. Mm. 